Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Vancouver Resource Investment Conference, Commodity TV for you here now at the booth of Maple Gold Mines. And we want to talk to Matthew Honor, who is the CEO of the company and who wants to give us an update. Welcome Matthew. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, thanks Welcome for taking, to Vancouver. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time. Long time no of see. Of course, yeah. yeah. And hope you were not hiding. <laughs> no, where were you? <laughs> no, perfect. Um, Maple Gold Mines. A yes. lot of uh, things happened, of course. Last yeah. year the markets were, yeah, I would say a little bit tough for you probably also yep. stock price wise yeah yep. not project wise yep. so maybe you can uh, give us a little bit of an uh, update from last year sure what was uh, quite good what was not so good sure well as we've seen um, the last year the gold price has been going in the right direction and that's helped a lot of companies but a lot of the junior mining companies have still struggled to get some traction mm -hmm. from a share price perspective um, and what really what's driving the stories I think is What's really changing the narrative around their stories? Is something really changing at the ground level? Uh, what is really giving people the confidence to get behind a story or not get behind a story? Uh, do people have enough cash to continue operating? You know, how, how are things going to play out over the long term, short term, medium term? So over the last year, we've been sticking to what we can control. Uh, there have been a number of conversations we've had with many, many players who would be potential uh, acquirers of our project or our company, uh, strategic partners, et cetera, et cetera. You can't control the timing of those things. All you can control is what you do at the ground to drive value exactly. from the project. That's all I can yeah. control. So what uh, have you done on the ground last year? On the ground, <laughs> what we did on the ground, most importantly is what Fred Spidell did on the ground, which was to get our heads around a 3D uh, model, geologic model. First time it's ever been done kind of amazingly at this project. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what that did for us it was gave us the ability to target in this area called the 531 zone. We put out some press releases around the 531. Mm -hmm. And with that targeting, with that 3D model, uh, that, that less exciting but very important work that we did, we came up with our top five hole ever on the project. And we're, we're talking about top five holes. This project, I'll remind you, is 240,000 meters of drilling. And so top five hole is... 51 meters of 2.96 gra gra mm -hmm. gra grams, uh, 29 meters of 2.8, that type of mm -hmm. eye-popping uh, numbers. So uh, what we're doing today, and that's what, happened, that's what happened last year. What else happened last year? Well, 41 million warrants uh, came off of our structure. That's that was in November. Yep. That was a 15% improvement on the cap structure. Yep. Just an organic change uh, for the better. Uh, we uh, completed a financing. We've never taken, we've never given any warrants and any financings. I think uh, adding warrants to a financing actually is a net negative to shareholders because what normally happens is people hold on to the warrants and they, and they sell the shares, mm -hmm. hoping that somebody else will be the shareholder and hold on to it and keep driving it. Yeah. Now, some people uh, make it their, you know, that's their, their story is to do warrant deals, but we just don't do them. So we did financing so without warrants. Uh, we brought on some int very incredible shareholders. Uh, we drove the 3D model to give us some targeting that actually proved some incredible results. We're following up on that this year. In fact, the drills, if you looked at the PR this morning, mm -hmm. the drills started turning this morning. Actually, they started, they're started. they turning as we speak at the project site. What are we going after? Um, Azimut came up with this incredible Incredible results mm -hmm. recently in that last two weeks. Their yep. share price went up 200%. Whoa, okay. What, what do they find? 100 meters of uh, three grams. What are we going after? Same well, I, I just told you <laughs> that what we had at 531 was yeah. 51. You can look at the press release from last year. 50 meters, 2.9 grams, 29 meters roughly in that area. I give you the actual numbers if you, if you, you can mm. share it on your website mm. and tell your viewers this. But this is what we're going after. It's a 60 meter step out from what we found before. And those are the types of things that in a rising market will tend to cause people to pay attention. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the drills are turning now. We're going to do six to 7,000 meters over the mm -hmm. next uh, quarter one, quarter two of this year. Mm -hmm. Tell uh, me I think, a good news flow. I think there's going to be an incredible amount of news flow for mm -hmm. sure. We're also looking at other things, other strategic moves corporately mm -hmm. uh, that, we, that uh, I can't talk about today. But um, you know, keep your eyes peeled. Watch the story. Watch the space. What, again, what I can control is on the ground and what we do as a corporation to improve uh, the chances of our, of our, of our company, 
Uh, and if we can't find it uh, on the projects we have right now, we'll look at it somewhere else. It's a combination of things. Yeah. So watch this space for sure. Okay, super. Um, I mean, the last resource estimate was also higher. It was great. Yep. So when do you think you have another one? Well, incorporating it's, all the drilling you're it, doing now and maybe some some of last year. Well, the last the last resource update we did actually was uh, we used a group called RPA. Uh, they're traditionally more conservative than Micon. Uh, we thought that was a good thing to be more conservative than Always less good, conservative because it leaves room for positive surprises. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and 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 the we might have had different numbers with fees the, with the previous group, but I figured you know. We need to make sure that we move this project forward in a meaningful way mm -hmm. by telling a story that other acquirers or potential acquirers would say, okay, these are guys are doing the hard work, and maybe on the day of, you don't get the same exact response from the retail group, but for the company, the company's chances going forward, it's the right thing to do. Yep. So that's why we did that. And now we have a more conservative estimate that everyone in the street understands to be that. Um, and we'll, to answer your question, once we complete the drilling, we'll look at where we stand and then decide how we want to work with that. We look to start a uh, resource S, uh, yeah. uh, uh, economic study at, yeah. the end of next, at the end of this year. Yeah. Okay, wow. And that's taking the existing resource and seeing how we move that forward. Mm -hmm. So in, in conjunction with doing that, we're also looking at how we find new discoveries, mm -hmm. as I mentioned a second mm -hmm. ago. So you kind of do, we have the luxury of being able to do, to do both. Yeah. We have an incredibly large land package, almost yeah. 400 square kilometers of ground. Uh, we're on a, an incre incredibly prolific uh, strike. Absolutely. Crossover already is incredibly yep. prolific. Yep. We have Veza, which is to the east, which is very close to where we're drilling right now. That's mm -hmm. half a million ounces at six grams. This is very high grade stuff, mm -hmm. uh, very close to where we're going to. So if we come up with something along those lines, mm -hmm. everything changes. Uh, you know, our share price goes crazy yep. uh, on some news like that. So yep. we have to do things like that that cause people to change the way they look at our story. And, and things can get very interesting mm -hmm. uh, if we're successful in doing that. Absolutely. Great. Yeah. So then I would say uh, let the drills turn and let the drills turn, yeah. get some results out and we talk latest at PDSE. Drill baby drills, they yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll see at PDSE. And, we'll, Super. and by then we hope to have some good news out. So. Perfect. Matthew, thank you very much. Thank you. Sounds great. Watch Super. the space. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll do so. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was an update from Matthew Honor, the CEO of Maple Gold Mines. And you heard it, the drills started to turn. That's always important. Six to seven thousand meters this year. And also they cleaned up uh, the capital structure a little bit here with uh, 41 uh, million warrants which uh, fell off the cliff. This is also very good because it leaves, uh, it puts a lot of pressure of the market uh, uh, away here. And yeah, they are in a fantastic, prolific region here in Canada. AB TP Greenstone Belt and the Casa Berardi Fault. That's uh, yeah, really outstanding. And uh, we look forward to the drill results. And so stay tuned. Check out the company. Thanks for watching us. And bye bye from Vancouver.